Welcome to Bible Lana Sekona, in which we translate scriptures into pictures. Welcome to today's discussion this month of March, the year 2024. And the beginning of this month, as we are moving to the new season, as the Bible tells us, uh, there is a time, the season under the sun, there is a time. There is season under the heavens. We are now moving from winter time to summer time, this part of the world we are in, and also in some other parts of the world. And as we are going to have a discussion today. There is a telephone I'm waiting for to hear from one of our friends, a member of my family, my son, who is uh, doing some uh, work, he's doing a job. He does, as he spends time doing farming and uh, he wants to plant seed at this time the season to plant seed, to sow seed. And as we sow seed, we are seeking to receive a harvest at that time when the seed that was planted has come up as a tree, has matured and is now producing fruit the fruit that we are going to eat, the fruit that we are going to have, the bread that we are going to have, that is in the natural. It's uh, to remind us also that in the supernatural, we also need to plant seed. And in the end, that seed, when it matures, it will produce, fruits, it will produce bread. That's why when we hear of uh, someone eating bread, this bread came from the source that was a seed that was planted. If a seed is not planted in the ground, it will not produce fruits, to not produce bread. The same way that if we don't plant the seed in the spirit, it will not produce the fruits. That's why when we hear of God's word, being a seed, it's also being bread. So God's word being a seed planted, it means that it's being accepted by whoever that is willing to accept God's word. And when the word of God dwells inside someone, um, whoever that had received has accepted God's word, truth, the word of God is going to change the behavior of someone. Therefore, someone will have a character that God wants. That is, if someone becomes not only a hearer, but a doer of God's word of truth, believing God's word of truth, they will start producing the character to expose the good deeds that God wants. And these are the deeds, the fruits of righteousness. These are the acts. This is the character that God wants. Therefore, eating God's word and when the word of God dwells inside someone, then whoever that had received has accepted God's word, truth, the word of God is going to change the behavior of someone. Therefore, someone will have a character that God wants. That is, if someone becomes not only a hearer, but a doer of God's word of truth, believing God's word of truth, they 
will start producing the character to expose the good deeds that God wants. And these are the deeds, the fruits of righteousness. These are the acts, the character, to show that you have eaten God's word. You have to expose the character that God wants, the good character, the good deeds. In the end, you need to produce the deeds, the fruits of righteousness. You need to shine in glory in Christ Jesus. That is, when someone takes in God's word of truth, someone becoming set free from bondage, from captivity, someone coming out of the dead and moving into the living, someone needs to become the character, the righteousness of God that is in Christ Jesus. And this is what we all need to do when we become born again. We are no longer dead, we are living. And when we are living, we need to be shining in glory in Christ Jesus. And as we have said, we need to read through so many scriptures, several scriptures to put them together. Then we start understanding that God's word, when we take it in as a seed, it needs to produce the fruits that God wants, the character. And Jesus Christ himself, he is the seed. Jesus Christ himself, he is the bread. The Bible talks about this. Therefore God's word, it could be seed, it could be bread. If it's given a seed, it has to be taken in, and someone has to accept God's word of truth. Someone has to accept God's word of truth and believing in God's word of truth it means that they accept the Lord Jesus Christ who is God's word. And believing in God's word of truth someone becomes set free from the dead. They are no longer dead but they are living. As Jesus Christ said, there is no seed that can produce fruit unless it is planted. That's why Jesus Christ himself as seed, he was planted, he died. He, he became crucified on the cross at Calvary. He died, he was buried. And when he was resurrected, he now lives and shining in glory. And that's exactly what we also need to do. We also need to die spiritually. Our old sinful nature has to come out. We therefore have to be crucified. We need to take up our cross and hold him have our old sinful nature crucified. We have to take up our cross and follow him by faith. We are dying with Christ Jesus. We are buried with Christ Jesus. We are resurrected with Christ Jesus. We therefore need to start shining in glory in Christ Jesus. That's why we are told that by faith we become justified to be the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. The Bible tells us this. And that's why when the book of Romans, chapter 10, talks of how can they believe in him of whom they have not heard, and how can they hear unless someone has preached. 
the good news. And how can someone preach unless they have been sent? These are four big questions that are found in the book of Romans. The book of Romans, say, chapter 10. Therefore, someone needs to go out and preach the good news, the gospel of Jesus Christ. People need to go out and preach the word of God, and whoever that accepts Jesus Christ becoming his disciple, they need to go and preach God's word. And when they preach God's word of truth, someone hearing God's word of truth, they need to accept God's word of truth. And when someone accepts God's word of truth, they need to believe in him the Lord Jesus Christ, the Word of God. But when someone believes in Him, they need to accept Him as Lord and Savior of their life. When someone accepts Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of their life, they are no longer in captivity. They have become set free from bondage. They are no longer in captivity. They have become set free from prison. They have become set free from bondage. They have become set free from the dead and moved into the living. And that's why someone needs to become born again, coming out of the dead and moving into the living. Listen to the entire discussion that we already have published and more messages we are going to share soon. As we have said in Bible Learners Ministries, we are taking time to do our job that is sharing the good news about uh, mankind's uh, salvation. We are not sharing the news of this world that is diminishing but we are taking time to share the news, that is the good news. And this is the purpose for which God has kept us in this life. And we need to accomplish the purpose for which we are existing. Ask the Holy Spirit to help us. We always need to seek the guiding of the Holy Spirit to help us to understand what the Word of God is saying. What the Word of God is saying. Stay blessed and shalom.